All right, today I'm going to discuss how I ended up with over 500 Funko Pops that are worth more than $10,000. Now, first of all, if you don't know what a Funko Pop is, uh, these are them right here and behind me. Funko is a company that makes these vinyl toys, if you will, that come in these boxes, and they do have them in all shapes and sizes. Now, when I first saw Funko Pops many years ago, I, I thought they were stupid, and I didn't like how they looked, and I didn't, I didn't get it. Uh, but a girl that I was hanging out with, she really thought the rock ones were cool, and she had um, was collecting some of them. Um, and I remember when she was going to look for the Motley Crue ones, the Nikki Six one was really hard to find, and you had to order that one uh, specially. And I should have known at that point, as a collector of memorabilia myself, that this was something to invest in and that they were gonna be worth money. Now that Nikki Six figure is worth well over $100. Uh, fortunately, uh, I have two of them now. <laughs> I wish I would have bought them then when I could have bought them for $12. Uh, I should have bought a million of them then at $12. But uh, anyway, that's not the point. And then I had another friend who was really into these things too. And he had turned me on to watching YouTube videos and seeing that there's a whole Funko um, community. So I started watching videos by a guy named Top Pops, which is probably the biggest one. And then I started watching a thing called the Poppin' Duo, which is a father and daughter team who collect and open uh, mystery boxes of Funko. And then I started watching something called Gasselcast, which is a husband and wife team uh, who also talk about Funko Pops. And I, in the beginning, I thought these things were ugly and I, like most people, uh, I just didn't get it. And I also thought that they were a lot like Beanie Babies and that this was a fad. But as I started collecting them myself, uh, I realized Beanie Babies are just these little animal toys and you only have so many possibilities. With Funko, because it's a pop culture thing, there's movies, television, music, animation, Disney. The, the possibilities are endless. There's always a fan of something. So I believe that this is going to last a long time. And I think everybody you know knows somebody who has at least one of these Funko Pops. And uh, one usually turns into <laughs> over 500 or more. So it all started with the one for me. And the first one was this one. This is a uh, Chevy Chase uh, autographed Funko Pop, uh, a Clark Griswold from Christmas Vacation. So I saw him speak in Los Angeles um, uh, at a screening of Christmas Vacation. This was in 2019. And uh, they, were, they had these available as merchandise and as a fan, I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of these. And so here it is, my first Funko Pop, autographed by Chevy Chase. Uh, this one's a pretty valuable collectible now, especially because it's autographed by him. So that was the first one. And I still wasn't really thinking about going too crazy, but on that same trip, I went to the Funko Hollywood store. And yes, they have an entire store in Hollywood uh, dedicated to these things. And so I went there and they sold some exclusives and I bought uh, four of the exclusives that they sold. In my mind, I thought, hey, maybe these things are gonna be worth a lot of money. Um, they're still in my personal collection and I've continued to collect them. But so um, that's how it started. Then the next thing I know, I'm out hunting for these things and buying more and more of them, ordering them. And so the most common question with people who collect Funko Pops is, what is your favorite? And what is your most expensive? And so my favorite and my most expensive happen to be um, the same figure. And that is this one, which is Johnny Ramone of the Ramones, my favorite band of all time. Um, this is an early number. This is number 11 in the Rock series. So there's a little over 200. Um, so the lower the number, the more expensive. I have about 100 of them. I'd, I'd like to finish the collection. It's not an easy task. But so Johnny Ramone right now is priced at over $320. Um, and so definitely my most expensive and my favorite, but um, they have a price guide for these things if you don't know, and they say they base it on current sales and things of that nature. And so anyway, that's that one. This one here is my probably the second most expensive. This one is uh, Britta Perry from the TV show Community. I really just got it because I was trying to finish the set of Community figures. This one was a Comic-Con exclusive, a New York Comic-Con exclusive 2019 fall convention. So. I picked it up just to finish my collection, and now somehow it's gone over $100, which is cool. Next most expensive in my collection would be this one, which I got from the virtual San Diego Comic-Con 
in 2020. I've actually never opened it. It just came in the box and it's still there, but we can take a look at that. This is a Jack in the Box, right? So the Jack in the Box mascot, this is from a series called Ad Icons. This one's over $100. It's actually, first time I looked at it, it's a pretty good looking figure. I should probably put that in a protector. And then last, uh, from the Karate Kid movie, not the Cobra Kai TV show, the movie, Daniel LaRusso. Um, this one is also uh, over $100 now. And so a lot of these are going up in value. And so in my collection, there's plenty of other things to total the over $10,000 and climbing. And, uh, and some of them I bought with the purpose of aging them and moving them on. Uh, to a better home at some point, hopefully uh, for an increased price. Anyway, I hope you liked seeing just a few of my Funko Pops. And if you dig this, I hope to do more uh, videos. Make sure you subscribe so that you'll know when I do them. And uh, I'll show you more of my collection, show you some of the new things I bring in. I have tons of uh, variety, so there'll always be something to take a look at. So again, make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.